Today we're doing another interior mod on the Civic because no, none of yeah we are no, because none of none of the exterior things are Soon. coming together the way we want. So interior mod. Today we're gonna do. You're in the trunk. That's okay. Here. <laughs> Goodbye. Today we're going to be making a hardwood floor <laughs> trunk. Here, just pull this up. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be my thumbnail. Today we're going to be putting this magnificent laminate hardwood flooring in the Civic trunk. Oh, that's actually heavy. Last time I put flooring in one of the cars, in the BRZ, everybody commented and was like, It's not hardwood! Yeah. And they were so butthurt for no reason. It's literally, it we're jealous? putting wood floor in the trunk. Let's do it. And this costs us zero dollars. So something that you guys can do is actually what I've been looking at for a while is if you go on like Craigslist or Kijiji or whatever you guys use and wherever you live, people very often they'll buy like 10 boxes of flooring and they only need nine. And then they can't return it because they've opened it or whatever the case, they're too lazy. And they just give it away. It's actually really, really common. Someone was giving away this flooring. It's not as thick as the one that's in the BRZ, but it's gonna do. And it's gray, which will be sick because the top vote for color was Nardo gray or blue or yellow. And I feel like all three of those will look good with gray flooring. Emerson doesn't want yellow. I think we should maybe go yellow. No. It's not as easy as the BRZ because the BRZ, you can just take the trunk mat out and lay it down and trace it. Yeah, we can. This thing is uh, part of the back seats. Sure. So we have to like rip it all out. I don't know. Let's do it. I've been Watch standing here too long. This has literally nothing about it. It just says it's made in Germany. Oh, there's the It says these things. And uh, if that means anything to you, I'm happy for you. The thing that sucks about doing it in this car is that this whole floor mat in the trunk is like one up the back of the seat. So you literally have to start pulling these Oh, you want me to have? Yeah, you gotta pop this whole thing out, dude. It's kind of dumb. Okay, yeah. You, you gotta want. like yeet these out, and then we're gonna have like this whole floor piece and back seat piece out there. Sending it. No. Oh, that one pulled right through. Okay, trunk monkey, exit the trunk, please. <laughs> So we got like this poster board from the dollar store. In the BRZ, this section, first of all, doesn't go up the back of the seats. It ends like here where it should. And it's hard, so you know it fits like perfectly. So what we're gonna do, cause this one's like pulled and stretched and shrunk and really old. So we're gonna trace this onto there. Like those are two, we're gonna open them, trace it onto there. Then we're gonna put those in the car to test fit to make sure it fits. And then if that works, then we'll trace that onto the wood because I don't want to trace on the wood and cut the wood and then the wood doesn't fit and then we only have one box of wood. <laughs> okay, no, let's go. You know how to use those? Oh my gosh. What? It's not enough. Yeah, it is. Put them sideways like this, you dink. One, <laughs> two, duh, it's enough. Well, I just told the people the plan, so what do you think the new plan is? Now we're learning together because I don't know what we're doing. I don't even think it's gonna sit flat. Dude, negativity is unwelcome. There's the door. You can leave. See you later. Bye. Goodbye. See you later. Have a wonderful night. Walk home. Don't call a cab. Goodbye. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. The only thing that I could see being a problem here is what Emerson pointed out and how like that is a hump and that is a hump. It's not flat. But I think that if it like sits on it, it'll be okay. No, it's my, my hipster line, not my humps. Song. My humps is its own, yeah. My humps is its own song. You shut up! Yeah, so like this will actually work. Uh -huh, uh -huh, my humps. My humps. You guys probably don't have to do this step. I already explained why we did it. But you guys can probably just trace your thing right on. It'll work fine. Are you having troubles? Nope. Is it the German wrapping? I think it's the German wrapping. It's like trying to work on Audis. It doesn't work. Audis? Audis. Oh, that's actually, ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's two sizes. That is thick. No, that's just the bottom okay, side. I was just like, what? That's actually a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. Quality right here. We want them going this way. It's the way they are in my car and it looks good. Basically, you just have to clip all these together until it's wide enough to be the trunk. Ah. You can't even do it your way. Suck it. No, that oh, was your way. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> my way is ruined. This sucks. Okay, and ready for the big unveil. Unveil. Un <laughs> underwear. Reveal. Woo! Look at that. I can't even tell. What you do, like once you get it to this point, Undo all these boards. I've seen things before where people try and like cut, and I'm like, no! You just take the board, every board separately, and just cut where you see a line. And then when you put them all back together, it will build the shape of your trunk. To anybody that does this themselves, 
label these before you put them in. Oh, tip to myself in the future. Hey, Robbie, next time you do hardwood, label it. I don't want to follow my own instructions. I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. Today's just not English, good, so good. Okay, so all this is cut. It's still a little bit rough. Like when I did the edges, it's not like perfectly straight. But now we gotta find out how we, oh, I cut it too big too. I wanted to, I'd rather cut it too long than not long enough. So I cut it like extra long. That way we can put it in there and see where the back ends and then cut it straight across the back. Yeah, so that's a little bit, that's a, like just something here is just not right. Cody just told me I had something in my tooth. I'm so fucking embarrassed. If I had something in my tooth this whole time, I'm really sorry. For all you guys that unsubscribe, please come back. I brush my teeth, I promise. Everybody's playing HQ trying to win money. I'm just trying to be hanging out with you guys. Basically, we're doing this. We put this piece in, right? And see how it's rubbing here? So now I gotta take it out and trim it right here. And that's what we did with these first two pieces. You can see like they scraped a bit coming in. That's just like dust. That's, I don't know what that is, but this is just like the dust from it going in. So basically we're like putting them in, seeing where they rub, mark it with a pencil, and then just like, trim it out a little bit more. So right here, you can see I cut this way too straight and it should be a little bit more round. So I'm gonna take this back out, round it, and then keep going until we're done. Brother, you better win me some money. We tried to get Emerson to play HQ the other day and he was like, no, it's a scam. And now, today, 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 the kid thinks he can win money. Oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> so here's the plant. I know that that was not the straightest, shh. Now it's not the straightest cut in the back. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the carpet down the back seats and we're gonna roll it up and put it here. That way, if I wanna put something like a wheel here, I can just roll the carpet over and put the dirty wheel on the wood. Does that make sense? You put the seats up and see if they fit. Emerson. Oh, oh, oh. Don't put it back, don't. Stop, don't stop what you're doing. So ask me to put it back. Yeah, I know, but then we'll scream. That's like universal <laughs> for stop what you're doing. So trunks in. Do we show the people? I don't think so. Come back tomorrow for the finale. I'm gonna put, a, I'm gonna put an ad right there. I didn't, no one told me my hair looked like a friggin' wasp nest. Okay. We stepped all over this for the last hour and a half. Well, that's cool. The fucking pencil goes right through the fender here. <laughs> don't, don't! Just wait, I'll show you a magic trick. The people think this is a clean Civic. You gotta let them keep thinking that. It is a clean Civic. So what took us so long to get this in is that these stupid little humps in the Civic, I didn't want to cut them out of the plastic because there's something under there. Obviously, that's what it humps over. So we had to take it and like cut it out of the wood on both sides, which was like super annoying. It took forever to get it figured out right. And then all these boards actually fit really, really tight. Like these aren't, the ones in my BRZ move a little bit. These are like not going anywhere. So that's good. And then I'm gonna put the carpet back on the seats and then like roll it up back there so that I can pull it out when I put dirty stuff. I'm actually pretty pleased with it. Like after all said and done and we're not mad at each other anymore and everybody gets <laughs> together and we're all one big happy family again. That is, it looks good. And even if you guys had to buy one of these, it's like 10, 15, 20 bucks if you get like this Das Auto German stuff. I think it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with how it looks out. Looks that, that, put the carpet, then we'll show you. Can you pull the trunk handle thing? <laughs> What'd you do? I get the pencil stuck. <laughs> Why did you get a pencil stuck? Oh, stop shoving the pencil in holes! <laughs> Why? What's wrong with that? That's that looks fine. exactly like what I wanted it to look like. Then you have, oh, wow, what a pretty wood flunk. Oh, you want to put this oil jug here that's spilling oil everywhere? You just, yay! And now you don't spill oil over the wood. We need to go to bed. I'm so done with today. Do you guys like it? He said sick minute. We don't have a nice holding mechanism of this beautifully rolled carpet. So for today, we're just gonna roll this up and just like leave it there. In the future, maybe I'll put like some little, like what they have on the truck beds where it's like Velcro. And then you can just like Velcro it, like shut rolled, if that makes sense. But that's what my idea was. I think that looks pretty good. It's rolled up, like tucked out of the way. So you're like, oh damn, nice wood trunk. But I won't ruin it because at least right now, maybe in the future when the Civic is like built and done and I'm no longer transporting greasy old used Civic parts around, that's good, but I know for a fact that there's like janky parts of my house that are gonna destroy this. So for now, we'll leave it like that. I actually don't really mind it. I think it looks pretty good. It's just one of those things that like cleans any car. Like when you walk up to the Civic and you just drop it, like how much nicer does that look? And that's like final product. So with the actual like, whatever you wanna call that, privacy oh. thing on there. Privacy. That's how it looks. And this one, maybe one day I'll put it to good use. Like I'm gonna try and put the BRZ's one to good use soon. When I put the one in the BRZ, I dropped like a big hint on why I wanted it there in the first place. And uh, maybe one day we'll do that in this car too. When it's, no, when it's no longer a budget build and it's done with the budget build and I just go full out and do a bunch of stuff to it. Maybe I'll put that hardwood to good use. That's all we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching.
If you haven't made fun of Emerson for something yet today, do it. He's kind of earned it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Not this time. I did all the work today, actually. I'll catch you next time. We gotta go home and get some nachos. Peace out and stay committed.